Hello and welcome to this video. So you are now at the level where you maybe have learned to program, you have implemented your first projects, you feel fairly confident and then you start your first bigger project, right? The next level project and you realize, wow, software engineering is really hard. And in this video, I want to answer the question, are you the only person where software engineering is feeling hard or is this maybe a common thing? But before we do that, let me first introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm a computer science professor specializing in embedded systems. I have more than 20 years of experience in software engineering and my mission is to help you grow your software engineering career, making the next step um, in your software engineering career. So if you're interested in doing that, then please subscribe to the channel. But now back to the question. Is software engineering hard? And if it is hard, why so? To answer it straight, yes, software engineering is hard. There will be always problems with your code, with your project and so on. And when we look at the history of software engineering, how software engineering and this, this engineering approach to making software to programming um, got started, we have to go way back into the 1960s, where um, at a NATO conference at that time in Garmisch, this topic of software engineering was born, right? Because the attendees there in the 60s realized they have a problem with software projects. They call it the software crisis because what they realized is that when they develop software, usually either they don't get the functional scope that they intended or the project is way overshooting the schedule or they have other issues with the software project. So what they realize is software engineering is hard or creating software this time is hard and that they need an engineering approach to software creation. And that's when in the 1960s software engineering as we know it today was born. And one of my favorite quotes from this NATO conference was, we build software like the right brothers build aircraft. We build the whole thing, we push it over the cliff, we let it crash and then we start over again. And now, 60 years later, is it any better? Well, yes, there is a lot of progress being made in the area of software engineering. And when you look at studies that analyze whether or not software projects fail and how many software projects fail, there is improvement visible and it's to a large extent attributed to the discipline of requirements engineering and putting a lot of work in up front and not just on the coding side, right? Thinking more in the beginning is apparently a thing that helps you when doing software engineering. That's no big surprise. That's something that we know now but it wasn't as obvious 60 years ago. But still, we see our fair share of software projects failing, either failing to provide the functionality that we hoped for or failing in the sense that they don't meet the milestones or that um, the projects take much more time than originally planned, are much more expensive than originally planned and so on and so on. So the question is, why is software engineering so hard and why do you maybe have in a smaller scale the same problem that you can't solve your problems on time, that you have bugs, that it looks like you will debug forever and things like that. And the reasons for this are simple and difficult at the same time. They are simple because software is complex and it's hard for us to control this complexity and that's where a lot of the problems are coming from. 
And usually when we build a software system, nothing similar was built before, or at least not by us, right? We solved the problem for the first time. So we might be able to look at other solutions out there, but we don't know how they did it internally. And we have to solve the issues for the first time. And that's one of the reasons why we have problems doing software engineering. Let's come back to complexity. Even if you just build a small app, the amount of libraries that you need that will be linked to your project, right? If you just do uh, a small React project and, and you just do NPM or Yarn Insta, what is Insta there is massive. And it's a massive amount of code. And that's in most of the areas out there, you have a lot of code that is involved. There is a lot of complexity and um, this is hard to be controlled. So the good news is you're not alone. Software engineering is hard. Everybody that develops software has moments like this where you sit in front of your computer and you feel you don't make any progress at all. And there is just one bug after the other, or the software is not doing what you want it to do, or the customer wants to do. And that's normal. And what helps to solve those problems to make it easier is to apply software engineering processes and applying this engineering mindset. And one important learning is that you need to get away from this code and fix approach where you code something, you test it, you look at the bugs, you fix the bugs, and you are in this endless loop of coding, looking at the problem, fixing the problem, looking at the problem, fixing the problem. But you actually apply an engineering approach. You do planning ahead, you write requirements, you do design, you write tests and so on, rather than just this code and fix. And if you start doing that, you will see you become much more predictable in your outcomes, in the time it needs to do certain things, and it will feel much easier. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you didn't or if you were looking for other information. If you like the video, then please smash the like button. And of course, if you want to see more videos just like this one, then please consider subscribing to my channel so that I can see you in the next video.